How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel, it's Sketch Monkey here. Now the last couple of um, videos I haven't really felt like I was challenged enough. So to cure that and to give myself more of a challenging redesign, <laughs> I'm going to take one of my all-time personal favorite cars and shapes. And that is of course the Datsun 240Z or Z if you're from Europe. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this into a mid-engine Datsun 240Z. Now this can obviously go two ways. It can either become a very cool looking 240Z with uh, you still where you still recognize the shape of it but now it's mid-engine but it still has some cool shapes or I can scar you for life and it becomes a total disaster. In order to find out we obviously need to jump into Photoshop and see how this surgery is going to go. First of all, I want to show you the Datsun 240Z and the special reasons why I love it so much. It's all about proportions when it comes to this car. These proportions, especially in side view, it has similar proportions to... If you think back to a couple of videos ago, I did a Mercedes SLS AMG and I turned it into a Ute just because it's a fun example or experiment to do that. But look at the SLS AMG, compare the proportions to this car. I said in that video that the A-pillar started almost in the middle of the car. And we kind of have almost a similar style here with the proportions of the car where the A-pillar starts almost in the center of the car, just a little bit towards the front in this case here. But we have this sloping roof line. And this is a specific detail of the 240Z that we don't really see a lot of these days and that is this roof line it goes and it never dips back up it just goes and dips and you expect it to kind of be be caught by some dip here or something to stop it to stop the curvature and turn it into an s curve but what i love about the 240z is that it just abruptly stops and then it's just cut off right here and this creates this chiseled look with proportions that if you put this these proportions on any car it's almost impossible that it turns into an ugly car and now when you have this greenhouse here like this with the a pillar starting in the middle of the car that naturally is going to create this long hood here that kind of swoops and also creates this chiseled look in the front here so it has timeless proportions and this this is one of these cars that it's going to be almost even more beautiful, let's say 50 years from now than it is today. And I think it's going to be more and more beautiful with time because cars are going to get more complex and they're going to change their proportions. But this right here, we're always going to have this shape as a uh, standard silhouette for whenever we want to create a um, beautiful front engine two-door coupe and this is these are the lines to go with and then of course you have the typical s curve very subtle here it's not italian it's it's more it's more subtle it's not scandinavian which would have a straight line and it's not italian which would have a, a more pronounced s curve this is somewhere in between and it just creates a very clean looking design for the datsun 240z obviously and then looking at it from the rear here same thing here i love this I, I don't think there is one angle of the 240Z that I don't love. I, I love every angle. It's not like I like it from this angle. I actually love it from the three-quarter rear view and also the three-quarter front view, which is the uh, angle that we're going to focus on in this redesign here. So what we're going to do in this redesign is we're going to remove these chrome parts here and kind of have it be more of a resto mod, not a complete modernization because I want to visualize how the 240Z would or could have looked like if it came out from the factory in the 60s and 70s as a mid-engine car. That's the whole purpose of this redesign here. It's kind of for my own curiosity because I want to make myself uncomfortable and mess with one of my personal favorite designs of all time and just see what comes out of it. So. Let's look at the three quarter front view here, which I said is the angle that we're going to be working in here. We're going to remove this, this chrome right here. 
and I prefer it when the 240Z has the covers for the headlights. So I think we're gonna sketch in some covers on this design as well. And also what I wanna do, since we have now, we're going to move forward this entire greenhouse here. We're gonna move it this way. That means that I want to chop off the rear a little bit, make it just a little bit shorter. And I apologize for the kitten playing down there if it makes any noise in the video. That's what that is, playing with the uh, with some toys down there. Anyway, so we're gonna move forward the greenhouse and that creates, I still wanna have a, a, a typical S-curve still in the body of the car, but I want to create this, uh, the, the rear fender. I wanna have more definition to this, more of a curvature here and also sharpen that up a little bit by adding one sharp line that goes into the body of the car. It does have kind of a sharp line already here, but to me, this is not sharp enough. And to make it modern in a in an old package, that's what I want to do. I wanna add this sharp line here, and then the C-pillar is going to start somewhere here, and then dip down somewhere like that, because we have a mid-engine car, that means that the engine needs to fit, obviously, behind the driver. That means, of course, moving the entire greenhouse forward like this right here. So with that said, let's jump in now and let's get started and get to work on this Datsun 240Z mid-engine car. And as I said, this is going to be an experiment for my own sake. The brief for myself is to make it look like it could have come out from the 60s and 70s but it was a mid-engine so if they decided to go officially they had a meeting Datsun at this time and they decided to scrap the front engine which I'm glad it didn't happen in real life but what if they decided to go and make the 240Z a mid-engine car that's what we're going to explore right now And there we have it guys, that's the redesign of the Datsun 240Z, turning it into a mid-engine car. So what is my verdict here for this redesign? I actually think it turned out really good. I especially love the C-pillar treatment that, that I went with here and created this stronger and more defined defender over the rear wheel. That gives it this powerful rear engine proportions which which kind of, kind of symbolizes that the power is in the rear when you have this massive fenders and sharp fenders going over the rear wheels. I also wanted to add some intake, some air intake on the side, but I didn't want to destroy the body lines of this 240Z. So what could we do to add some cooling to this engine in the rear without messing up the beautiful side and the clean 
the clean lines and the clean surfaces of this car. So what we can do is to add the intake in the C pillar and that's exactly what I did here. You see some of this this solution being being used on modern cars but also back in the day they used this solution on some mid-engine cars and I think that solved the problem. We're not messing up any of the lines of the car. The, the surfaces are still clean and typical 240Z style. There's no interference in the surfaces of the car, but we still have a hidden air intake there for the cooling of the engine in the rear. And the wheels, I actually really love these wheels. I think they suit the, the, the time and the style of the car, but we obviously need to make them bigger and wider because that's, that, that not only makes it more modern, it also looks a lot better than if we were to keep the skinny tires from the 60s stock on this design right here. I also added the mirror on the far side because stock it only has mirror on the on the on the driver's side. To me, I always want to have mirrors on both sides just for the symmetry of the car, especially if you take a photo from a straight front view or something like that. It just looks better when you have that symmetrical view of the car and to lower the front I didn't want to bring the body itself down to the ground. So instead of doing that, I added one of these typical lips in the front and also had that, had that same material continue on the side of the car to kind of wrap around everything. And then we could have something similar like this in the rear as a diffuser to connect this style all around the car. And that's about it. I think that's the main changes that we did. And then of course we added or added the, the covers for the headlights. I think that looks a lot better because it kind of integrates with the body lines from the grill. It gets, it has a sharp line in the covers that kind of fades out and melts into the front fender. I think it looks really cool and also worked a little bit on the front air intake or grill there as well. That's about it for this redesign. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it. Do you like this mid-engine car or did it completely ruin the 240Z for you? Let me know in the comments below. I'm the Sketch Monkey. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified when I upload new videos just like this one right here. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.